Welcome all you Plus Two Comedy Modifiers to another episode of the Plus Two Comedy Podcast. I'm your host as always, TV's Noah Hulahan, and before we get to our fantastic episode with John Deary, I gotta tell you about an upcoming show. We are going to be at the Geeky Kink event at the Radisson in Piscataway, New Jersey on November 10th through the 12th. We're doing four shows. We're gonna be doing stand-up comedy. We are going to be doing Game the Gamer After Dark. We'll be doing an episode of this very podcast, and we will be doing Beyond the Tentacle. So please, come see us. It's a plus 19 event because it's a little dirty. So if you're okay with that, please come see us in Piscataway. For more information, go to thegeekykinkevent.com. And now, without any further ado, take it away. Who's ready for a podcast? Yeah, sure. Nice. Oh, cool. Nice. Who's here to do other things currently being annoyed by a podcast? Yeah. It's a little quiet in here today, so I know that they hear us. This is the <laughs> Plus Two Comedy Podcast, coming to you live from Gamer's Vault. That's 175 Route 70 in Medford, New Jersey. I'm your host, as always, TV's Noah Houlihan, joined by the Detective Hoffman to my Amanda Young, Mr. Will Liam. How you doing, Will? Wait, ho- Hoffman was the other apprentice? Yes. Okay. Yes. I was trying to refresh myself. Yes, we are the two apprenti under Jesse, who is Jigsaw. <laughs> I want to I wanna be super cop. Too bad. <laughs> How you doing? Well, I'm I'm excited to go see that movie. Me too. Now you brought it up too soon, and I don't <laughs> care about this podcast anymore. Well, get excited because <sighs> our guest this week nah. is a stand-up comedian. Get excited, and the host of Makeup or Breakup. Give it up for John Deary. Get excited! Wow. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Came John. all this way. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Uh, this is this is my excitement. This isn't a bit. Are you sure? Yeah, you this, is, this is your level. This is my level. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because you seem annoyed to be here. No. Well, that's my level. That's okay. Uh, all right. Um, all right. So we like to start with an icebreaker question. Sure. This was sent by Modifier Frank, and he would like to know, what was your worst Halloween costume? Tis uh, the season, after all. My my worst Halloween costume. Uh, like the absolute most last minute costume I could throw together. Uh, I was having dinner with my mom and then I was going to a Halloween party after that. And I just went into her closet and found her clothes and just ended up going as Rosie the Riveter. That sounds <laughs> so like a great costume. Yeah. yeah, but then it got like, it backfired and everyone was like, oh, John's doing like Do this it. weird sexist thing where he's being like a monster because he's uh, like being yeah, ironically see, Rosie yeah. the Riveter. And I was like, I just threw this together out of my mom's closet. <laughs> my mom was Rosie the Riveter. Yeah, this yeah. is my mom. This These is an ode to my mom. Yes. Who was a very strong woman. Yeah. But everyone just thought I was like doing an ironic sexist thing. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it didn't go over great. <laughs> uh, th- that, that's, that's more on the people you were with than you. That sounds like a pretty no, decent they just, I think they know me and they just assume that I would do something <laughs> mean like that. But, like, they were upset before you got there. It's like, John's going to show up at something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to be upset about it. William, what was your worst Halloween costume? I think, I, as soon as you said it, because I, I used to go all out for Halloween. I think one year I was, I was like 11, 10 or 11, and I, I was uh, Rob Roy. Who was a not, Rob Roy. Yeah, not the drink, the uh, Scottish folk hero. <laughs> what? Yeah, because I was a weird little history kid, and I spent. Was? Yeah. It's, it's always a good costume. anymore. <laughs> It's a great costume when you have to explain well it to every single happened. person. I think what it, it was like the year Braveheart had come out. So everybody's like, oh, he's William Wallace. And I was like, actually, that's incorrect. And then I was <laughs> going to tirade about why they were wrong. <laughs> uh, and no one in your home stopped you, huh? No. Yeah, they're he's like, Rob Roy. it's not worth the argument with this kid. Just let him do whatever. <laughs> uh, the worst that I remember is I was Sonic the Hedgehog when I was in second grade. The mask was too tight, so like I was real squinty, and <laughs> I love Sonic the Hedgehog, so I wanted my costume to be as best as possible. So he has those like white and red striped shoes. So I took a red sock and I put them over my shoes, mm-hmm. and then I took a white sock and I cut it in half and put that over that. Nice. And then just was the fastest thing alive with no traction. So it was just. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get anywhere. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I fell a lot. Got, yeah, when you go yeah. trick-or-treating s- exclusively on wooden floors, yeah, I imagine exactly. it's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> so those were my fa- that was my uh, worst uh, Halloween costume, and I feel like the ice is sufficiently broken. So you host Makeup or Breakup. Makeup or Breakup, yeah. It's so a, uh, no, do you want to set you me up? You just judge your friends' relationships? 
Well, you, you bring on uh, different uh, couples, oh, and you, you quiz them about their relationship, and you try to destroy them. Am I accurately uh, describing yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. We... Uh, one round of the show is very like newlywed inspired where we ask them questions and see if their answers can match up. But all of the questions are mean. <laughs> it's like our favorite question, like our go-to question is, uh, what is the meanest thing your partner's ever said to you? And then they're both <laughs> on the show sitting there like, what is the meanest thing that this person's <laughs> ever said to me? And it's, uh, it's, it's great when like, they don't match up answers. Like, oh yeah, you said that other really terrible thing to me too. Yeah, I forgot that about that. Mm. That that is definitely yeah because that then the person comes back and says oh here's the meanest thing I ever said yeah boom I, oh wait I forgot yeah. about the meanest thing I yeah. ever said to it's, you it's always there's never a bad answer to that one oh there yeah. there is a bad answer where like people like each other too much and they're like oh you never mean I was like no shut up <laughs> you've hurt each other's feelings before uh, that that would be probably me and my fiance on this show <laughs> oh yeah you're more than welcome to come on uh. at some point <laughs> love to have you. <laughs> the, the meanest thing right. I've ever said to to my fiance <laughs> ended with just kidding. So, ooh, that yeah. doesn't undo it. It's though. always a good save. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> we're not on the show. <laughs> Should we mic her? Does she get mic? Yeah, let's 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 bring your fiance up. Let's here. Let's just do the show right yeah, now. Let's <laughs> do it right now. <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, have you had any like actual breakups do the show? Um. There was one couple uh, where I was good friend, good enough friends with them to know everything to do to really get under their skin. Oh. And they broke up shortly thereafter, but they were in a pretty dysfunctional relationship to begin with. Yeah, so it was so a good idea to bring them on to yeah, the show it was definitely like broad that. Yeah, I definitely I fed into them a lot. <laughs> so I, I'm that's definitely taking credit for that one. Well, yeah, I guess good that's good Like when you know them. It's like, hey, remember that thing he did at Fred's place? Yeah. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> well, well, what we did to them... And we, just, I came up with this game just for them, <laughs> just for them. Is uh, they were both stand-ups and they were very competitive, mm -hmm. and that ate away at their relationship. Just like the jealousy and the competitiveness. Right. So what I made them compete in stand-up, where I was like, we're gonna have the audience vote to decide who's better. <laughs> oh my god. So they did stand-up sets, and then the audience chose who won. Who won? Uh, the lady mm -hmm. of the pair. The tracks. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> that that didn't sit well with him. Didn't sit well with either of them. I don't. Think. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that she won. Oh, she loved it. Yeah, good. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Did you do it like to open the show? Like he no, that's the end of the show. There? The uh, the last round of the show is that was my my last round was that game. But usually the last round is a, g a game called uh, Judge, Jury, and X, where one couple will take center stage and they'll they'll uh, discuss an argument they keep having in their relationship. Oh my God. And then we work. They, we make them argue it on stage in front of the audience, and we have the audience decide. Like, let's settle this once and for all. Who wins this argument? You guys can stop having it. The <laughs> audience decides who wins. It's it's a lot of fun. How do you get people to be on this show? Because uh, this show sounds horrible. It's really hard to book. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a really rough experience. I, I usually insist that it's not as bad as it sounds. I don't think it is. I mean, everyone that goes into it kind of like knowing what to expect. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, they usually, I assume, your relationship should be strong enough to survive my show. This nightmare. And if it's not, then it wasn't meant to be. No. <laughs> 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 that doesn't make sense. It's really not as bad you're, as it you're, sounds. You're, Come you're a relationship jigsaw. Yeah. Is what you are. <laughs> you're, you're a relationship jigsaw. I wish I could be a relationship <laughs> jigsaw. You are. You're like if I could set... You put them into this horrible nightmare scenario yeah. that's going to end their relationship. Yeah. And you're like, I didn't end your relationship. Yeah. You ended your own relationship. The, the key to the <laughs> contraption on your head is hidden somewhere in the basket of laundry you refuse to fold, <laughs> no matter how many times she tells you. So now you're just giving me some great ideas for this show. <laughs> you do always, a Halloween episode. Always looking for new games. Well, we actually have a Halloween episode coming up. Yes, so. yes. Oh, you're doing it this weekend, correct? This weekend at uh, Good Good Comedy Theater, Saturday the 28th. Is this going to be air? Oh, people can watch it now. now. People are watching <laughs> it now. True, yeah. Yeah. But then I wasn't sure if the podcast yeah, comes later. But yes, go see it. Good, good comedy theater, 830 Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Can I do plugs whenever I feel like? Can I just keep plugging you, you it? Just yeah, did. Do whatever you want. Yeah. You just did. I just mean, make sure I'm not like stepping on the etiquette of the show. What are you doing later tonight? Uh, this show. This is it. This is it? This, this is, is my end. night. Can people hang out with you? What's your address? No. No one's coming over. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty beat. That's fair. 
<laughs> but you're also a stand-up comedian. Yes. So w- which means I have to ask you the two big questions. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I'm about three and a half years. Three and a half three years and in. Years? Really? Yeah. yeah, really. I feel like I've known you longer than that. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I have that. I make that connection with people, yeah. I guess. Yes. It's very genuine. Yeah. Very open. Also, I got, like, good really fast. Or yeah, I got yeah. okay really fast. <laughs> I got decent at stand-up really I fast. I didn't believe you until you said you switched it from good to okay. <laughs> and I was like, all right, maybe he is good at stand-up. <laughs> no one that's really good at stand-up has ever openly been proud no. of it. No, I think I just I took really long to finally do stand-up. I wanted to do it for a while. So I think I feel like when I finally tried it, I had, like, a clue. Mm-hmm. No, I, no, no, I, I, I'm on your side. Yeah. I'm saying, if anybody's like, I'm awesome at stand-up, no, nah, you're a liar. Yeah, I wasn't but hack very long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was in the same situation where, like, it took me a lot of nerve to get on stage, so I, like, yeah. read a lot of books and stuff. So when I first started doing comedy, I was pretty good. But everyone has, like, that bad first year. Just for people like us, it happens at, like, year five. So oh, at year great. five, I was just, like, a bad, like... <laughs> no so nothing the, comics. Yeah, so like there's I don't still know time what to happened. suck. Yeah, you Thank got a year oh, yeah. and a half before it's going it to be real bad for you. All right, I'll make the most of it. I think I might suck right now. <laughs> there's like, yeah, I'm valleys. ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve again. <laughs> exactly. I've been sucking <laughs> lately. And how would you describe your comedy style? Um, I feel like I'm pretty... Uh, uh, a lot of my material is personal stuff. Right. So you see me do stand up. I talk about being adopted, a lot of relationships, a lot of dating. So like, I've been told that the the makeup breakup show is kind of like perfect for my style of stand up, where it is a okay. lot of relationships and it's like cynical, <laughs> negative attitudes about dating <laughs> and stuff. So like, it all ties in together. It I fits my r- rapport. I r- did not repertoire. know you were adopted. Ah, you've never seen me do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think I would do that if that's part of your your bits? But no, I did not know that. Yeah, that's a big. That was like my first. That was like the first five minutes I figured it out when I was yeah. like, oh, I can talk about being adopted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then people were like, oh, that's you're going to do forever. And I was like, probably. <laughs> well, not well you're ch- never going to not be yeah. adopted. Well, I mean, like, I just. Uh, it was seemed, I know it was a true statement, but it still seemed mean. For the first, <laughs> for the first like, year and a half, no it felt like. No one's ever going to love you. That <laughs> Whoa. That's uh, what he meant. <laughs> uh, I was just worried for, like, maybe a year and a half that when I started comedy that that was, like, a crutch, like, that material. I was like, this is all I have. Then I figured some stuff out. I mean, it's, it seems like a big part of your life. It's not that big. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Got newer, better parents. They're great. <laughs> Have you had them on your show? Ooh, My parents? Yeah. yeah. They're not together. Oh. So, so it's because so yeah, of your yeah. show? But that's, <laughs> how I, that's how I knew I'd b- I could make the show work. <laughs> <laughs> Was it your fault? Was it your fault? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know why we're, get, we're being yeah, real mean. Well you show. Normally I do that. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny that uh, my, as I do it, this joke, which is a true fact. <laughs> okay. So it's is it a joke? It's just facts. Uh, where my parent, when they got divorced, they were like, it's not your fault. <laughs> they like took me aside. And, but, but like I have a sister and she wasn't there for that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know. I don't know if they all had a different conversation somewhere else. I, is she your biological sister? No, or she's she also adopted. She's also adopted. Yeah, yeah. totally different adopted person. Oh. And why'd she break up your parents? <coughs> I don't know what her deal is. <laughs> She's still messing them up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a dark route we can't go yeah. down right yeah, now. <laughs> this, this is a dark episode. I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm that comic. But I, I totally get what you're feeling uh, in the beginning because when I was starting out, all of my stuff was about being a virgin. And th- to the point where it's like, I can never have sex or I will lose yeah. all of my material. Yeah, we just. He's like a Greek <laughs> priestess. He lost you're all his powers. I love that you're yeah, like five your years later when I suck the comedy. <laughs> like your method comic approach. You're like, I can't have sex. I can't possibly yeah. write virgin jokes <laughs> after having sex. I have to oh commit no. to this. <laughs> the thing They'll in your smell it on me. <laughs> Are you, you're not a virgin anymore? No, I'm not. Okay, congrats. You believe that? him? Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that great. It's not worth the hype. Yeah, and it doesn't change a whole lot. And nothing changed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it made me interesting and unique for a while. And yeah, then I, was at this then point I joined a club of billions of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you were in the right to, to not have done it. Yeah. yeah. Messed up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk more about your parents. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whoever they are. Yeah. Yeah, those parents. <laughs> I, I assume that you've never met your biological parents? That's though? a big assumption to make. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I've never... Never uh, 
expressed uh, any have interest you ever at all. considered seeking them out to ruin their relationship too? I, I'm assuming if I got put up for adoption, it wasn't working out. <laughs> Maybe yeah, they were so really happy and they were like, "Oh yeah, they were like, this is so this great. This is not going to make this <laughs> any better." Now, I do know uh, my mother, my birth mother. I would have been her fifth kid. Her would have been her fifth kid. She, oh wow! So she was she churning get them out. Rid of all of them? I don't know. Oh. So I have four estranged siblings somewhere, and that's an adventure hmm. that you know of. That I know of. They're gonna be more. She could have kept doing it. I'd that's watch. So I'd crazy. watch your TV show. Yeah, there'd need to be like a sci-fi twist by like the fifth episode. But if I, you know, I'd stick around until then. I mean, I, I I'm sorry that we're staying <laughs> on this for so long. No, I'm not. But I, I find it like endlessly interesting. Yeah, you brought because it up. Because like. <laughs> uh, you're honestly more interested than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so indifferent to it. I'm like, that's the thing to write jokes about that makes me unique. Like that's, yeah. And my feeling is, there is so much mystery in your life. Yeah. <laughs> like we need to form a squad and go Ooh. out and make discoveries. I just, uh, I just took an ancestry DNA kit. That, that's oh, like the you? first thing I'm gonna learn that about was my genetics. My next question. Yeah. <laughs> How did that go? I'm waiting for the result. It takes weeks, oh. so I just took it. No, like a, a he's trying to get himself booked on the show again. You see what he's doing? <laughs> Big reveal. Yeah. <laughs> Six to eight weeks, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna come back with the results. Yeah, twenty three and me. It's because I, I, I feel like he's just gonna tell you you're a white guy. Yeah, I mean it'd be nice if I was something else, and then I could get like you know some scholarships. Maybe yeah, you could go back to school. <laughs> go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> get that. Make, <laughs> make some of your parents proud. <laughs> mm-hmm. Really. <laughs> I hope it wouldn't be like that. all my grandparents are dead. So if there was a little diversity, maybe are you sure? Are my oh my my adopted gra- grandparents? What about the other ones? Uh, who knows? See, yeah, yeah. Who knows? What if you just ran up to some random old person's door and you're like, "I graduated." <laughs> <laughs> you you owe me a bunch of birthday cards. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> So did you do the twenty three and me? Is that what you did, or uh, I did ancestry? Oh, ancestry, ancestry dot com. But like ancestry dot com, be <laughs> is that the thing where they, like you swabbed your mouth and you said yeah? Oh, I, s- I just spit in a cup for like ten minutes. That's what I did. Ten full minutes of cup spitting. Well, we have to like fill up the cup to a certain point, and that's that's a whole thing. It's a whole to do. Really that's true. <laughs> twenty three and me. It's a swab. Well, this you was a, did a cup of spit website. Yeah, yeah. I, I said it was. I said it was a different website. <laughs> I, I think you might be in the weirdest scam ever. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with that spit, but <laughs> he's going to make an Can't army of you. Yeah, that would be a not a good, be, not be a good army. Clones. Just a bunch of small cowards. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's not going to get anybody Go anywhere. Get him. Uh. <laughs> so you could worm into people's relationships and destroy yeah, them. Yeah, I guess yeah, if that's yeah. the approach they want to take is just like slowly <laughs> weasel. It's a very weird supervillain. <laughs> We're going to break up everybody, and that will kill the population over time. Yeah. <laughs> You get to find out how much Neanderthal you are. That was the only exciting that part. Was, I was intrigued by 23andMe before that because yeah. I figure I'm a lot of Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were we were up at f- like three percent. It was pretty high, apparently. Yeah, my oh. uncle did it, so I don't feel like I had like how much how different is it gonna get? Uh, <laughs> I keep uh, oh, I yeah, often I get compared in re- resembling uh, the serial killer, son of Sam. If you're I fans, did yeah. They know is was <laughs> is Sam your dad? <laughs> That's th- we're gonna. <laughs> David Bergowitz, and uh, people would show me pictures of him, and I was like, that guy looks like a caveman. <laughs> he does. And uh, I've never seen him. But then I've seen other pictures of him, and it's like uncanny. <laughs> yeah. I always confuse him with the Zodiac Killer. Oh, this guy's different. He kills people. Yeah. Z- no, I know Ted yeah, Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. I just confuse them. <laughs> he knows. You don't. With certainty. <laughs> yes. You're yeah. like, I know it's Ted Cruz. <laughs> You, you don't, don't look know. anything like Ted Cruz. I'm not. Oh, no, nothing that. like him. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a horrible thing to say. Yeah, you're way more handsome. Thank you. Oh, I needed that today. <laughs> <laughs> I needed someone specifically to say you look. You are more handsome than Ted Cruz. <laughs> we need to move on. on. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get back to your parents. <laughs> no, no, no. We like to geek out in the show. We, we've <laughs> we've been too mean for too long. We like to geek out in the show. We do it with the segment called "What You Watching, What You Reading, What You Playing." It's where we talk about what we're watching, what we're reading, what we're playing. John, you're new to the group. What have you been watching? What am I watching? I've been watching uh, Dragon Ball Super. Oh, really? On, uh, what is it, Crunchyroll? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been dra- watching on that. It is not very good. Thank you. It's not. I, I, but I keep watching it. <laughs> I, I loved Dragon Ball when I was a kid. I like parts of Dragon Ball Z. I remember loving it, but anytime I've gone back that wasn't like 
Kai, you know, uh, Z Kai? Yeah. Where they just chopped it, finally, after like 30 years, chopped it down to a watchable show. Yeah, 30 years, I figured out. Maybe the show's too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then everybody it's was like, long. you gotta watch Super. You gotta, I was like, I'll give it a try. I watched one episode. This show's terrible. <laughs> it, I think they've just accepted, like, let's just have fun with it. Yeah. It, I just, I don't get who it's for. Like, are they, is it for p- people like us who grew up with it, or is it for, like, Trying to suck in a new group of people to yeah, care about. It might about be Dragon for Ball? Japan, no. I think not everything's about you. Oh, why can't it be for all the groups? It'd be like <laughs> the nostalgia factor. We're like, obviously, we're watching it. It's got our attention. Yeah, but then uh, people that it's completely new to, maybe they wouldn't judge it as harshly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they should. It's a bad show. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> but I'm watch. I keep watching. I'm up late, like <laughs> depriving myself of sleep. <laughs> like I have to see I'm what happens in next. Trouble at work because I yeah. keep. <laughs> Staying up to watch it, and especially watching on Crunchyroll, I, I don't, I, I haven't paid for the membership. It's stupid, and the commercials are very long, very long, yeah. and l- very loud. Oh, <laughs> I, I hate to, like that. Me- I hate it's loud very commercial. invasive. I, I, f- I found that like, because a lot of people who have like, because Hulu also has commercials. The ones that have commercials don't do that thing where it's like, hey, are you still watching this? Mm-hmm. Because they're making money for the the commercials to play, ah. so people fall asleep to it. But people who pay for the commercial spots don't want you to be asleep during their ad. <laughs> so that's why it's just like, hey, candy, <laughs> wake up. It's a great piece of trivia. Yeah. There well, you it's go. really annoying because it's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to blow up my mic. So and I'm still sleeping through it. So <laughs> it's not failing. Good sleep. failing. Not when I'm good awake, sleep. you're annoying me. When I'm asleep, you're not. Ins- <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting me. I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying system. any of that stuff. I'm not going to see your 90s party concert. <laughs> all right, Crunchyroll, I'm not going to see it. No one's going to see it. We're too busy watching Dragon Ball. Sorry if I get you in trouble with Crunchyroll, but just trash. <laughs> no, they, they have never sponsored us, <laughs> and I have, a, I have reached they out to them. If, yeah, I was going to say, if anybody w- was close, it might be them, but not anymore. No, nah, they were not interested. <laughs> uh, William, did you watch anything? Good? Yeah, I. speaking of uh, clones and people that don't know anything about where they're from, I started watching Orphan Black. Okay, this show's really good. Do you know? Do you know about it? It's a British show. Uh, yep, y- you got like half of it right there. Paired up with Doctor Who, I believe. No, that is uh, Torchwood. I think is what you're thinking. No, 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 not not like in the same universe. I mean, they'd be on yeah. like time slot, oh, same nice. time slot yeah. together like on they a they night. They sound the same. Is that what you mean? No, they talk in the same funny way. I'm, I'm not watching the show, so I'm just gonna like yeah. do bits now. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's, it's a metaphor for your phone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, those are the screens. They're black yeah. mirrors. <laughs> black orphans. Uh, black <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, uh, it's a show about clones. Uh, I'm not far in enough to know why there's clones. I just know <laughs> that they are. Okay, and it's. I didn't want to watch it because it sounds gimmicky because, m- like, half the characters are the same actress. Right. And yeah, she is phenomenal. Like, I, I forget that constantly. There's Does she get paid five times as much? She, she effing should. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Because she, uh, I mean, half the characters are her, so there's conversations where there's three of hers just talking. I never stop and, like, oh, it's just the same actress. I'm like, oh, it's those three different people. <laughs> that she Who are talking. Lady Gary Oldman, like she's just completely, di- yeah, yeah, the big claim. I that is Ga- Gally Oldman. Gally Oldman. Old <laughs> woman. Yeah, I don't know her real name. <laughs> Gally Old, don't ruin it. <laughs> Gally Oldman, it is. Old woman. It's too much to say the whole. It's like it's that. a little bit of a mouthful. Yeah, I don't like it. Gally's good though. I'll stick with stick with Gally. Head, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, women can still have men in the last name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we still allow that. Well, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you watching, Noah? Uh, I Shut up. You are sexist. <laughs> Rosie the Riveter for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, immediately after this podcast, I'm going to go see Jigsaw. Oh. So I watch Saw 4 through 7. Oh, nice. To, to get prepared. You don't want to watch 3? I watched 3 last week. Okay. I watched that 1 through 3 last week. Though. This week, 4 through 7. Still love those movies. They're hey. all super fun. It does. It starts to go downhill at the end of Saw Five, because that's when they kill Super Cop. That's, that's when it goes downhill. Yes, no, I, and I, I will, <laughs> and like without an ounce of sarcasm, I will say those movies are all fantastic up till the climax of Saw Five, because Saw Five, like they introduce this cop 
who just figures out jigsaw traps immediately. He's a, a like he just walks Holmes. in. And he's like, okay, he wants me to do this. He wants me to do this. This is where we're going next. Let's go. Let's get into the car. And he's like, crap. That was supposed to take an hour. He just got it. I guess he needs like his Moriarty, right? He needs his perfect. Exactly. And the <laughs> the end of Saw 5, spoilers for Saw 5, oh. is a face-off between Super Cop and New Jigsaw, basically. And uh, Super Cop gets a tape recording that says, if you want to survive this room, enter this glass coffin. And he's like, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm Super Cop. <laughs> and New Jigsaw walks in, and Super Cop throws him into the coffin. He's like, ha, now you have to suffer in here. And the coffin goes into a safe spot, and then the walls close in to squish Super Cop. And it smushes him. Yeah. And that he goes out smushed. <laughs> and I was reading all like the trivia and stuff on this. It's the first and maybe only Saw movie that doesn't end with Game Over. It would have been such a better movie, because he tries to get out by kicking this grate. If he kicked his way through the grate and it ended with the walls closing, new jigsaw on one side, super cop on the other side, and he says, game on. End of movie. Because then it's just a face-off between the two. Instead, it's just, they killed too many people after that. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people who die who don't deserve it. And the cult of jigsaw I've learned to to worship through these films that just breaks a lot of rules and it makes me upset. Yeah, it really falls. I was... My girlfriend started watching through the Saw movies, and she was on three, and she was like, these are actually really good movies. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, yeah, get ready to be disappointed, but for a couple of movies, yeah, you're really going to like them. <laughs> yeah, they're really good for a while. And then at that point, it just kind of, they become something else that aren't, they're not Saw movies anymore. They're yeah, just the last one, the ma- I know the main cop wasn't Jamie Kennedy, but I remember him as Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the argument that I've always made, and this is why I, I stand by these movies a little bit towards the end. Saul 7 is the story of Jigsaw having have killed every intelligent cop. Mm-hmm. So the people that are left are all really stupid. And I, it, like, it feels like they did that on purpose. Because like, there's a point where they're walking around and there's a sign that just says danger. And they walk past it. And then there's a sign that said, I told you there was danger. And then it kills them. It's like, yeah, that was... That was pretty obvious. You guys really messed that up. <laughs> you knew this was Jigsaw's hideout. Why would you do that? That is like the most insane explanation for like why people are dumb in a movie. <laughs> it's like, yeah, everyone that was competent like, is almost dead. Every movie, though, and it's like, it's like, why? Like the audience is watching. Like, why can't people figure this out? It's like, oh, because he killed all the smart cops. Obviously, yeah. like, what? what? That's not. Because I, I realized in the seventh one, the the main cop is who's in charge talks about back when he was in uniform before he was he got promoted, and it was only like a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> because the, everyone else <laughs> above him was killed by Jigsaw. <laughs> I was like, all right, this is that's pretty solid storytelling. But I'm seeing it immediately after this. I'm very excited. I'm going to throw it down to John and ask you, what you're reading? You reading anything good? I'm reading, I'm reading Invincible, the image comic oh. by oh. Robert Kirkman. Invincible in the last four issues coming out in the next couple months. Is that the, that football guy? Movie. And it's <laughs> not. It's not a. No, it's not a comic series about <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Invincible. Invincible is incredible. It yeah. is uh, a superhero comic mm-hmm. by Robert Kirkman, same guy who writes Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it follows your, your, like, I feel like your, your tropey superhero, super strength, yeah. flight, you know, the standard. And oh God. it's, like, such a tongue-in-cheek comic book, like, where it, like, kind of makes fun of a lot of the tropes. And pokes fun of them, but at the same time is the superhero comic and does everything better and is uh, <laughs> it's incredible. It is an incredible book. I cannot. It's all I read now. I used to read a ton of comic books. This is all I read. This is the only one I buy on really? the regular. And it kind of started out as like a tropey commentary and just turned into a thing better than that. It, it just yeah. It just it it does stories better. It's it, like while still poking fun at those other stories and just <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna top it. It's really great. Kirkman uh, does write a good story. So. He does. It's it's awesome. I cannot recommend any <laughs> book more so than this one. All right, I'll add it to my list. I need a new comic. Yeah, me too. I was worried I was going to be like the weird one that didn't have enough nerdy because I have like. No, I've been impressed n- this whole time. Not <laughs> enough time to you know pursue my nerdy endeavor. I used to be like a lot of gaming, a lot of reading, and then mm-hmm. like since starting comedy in particular, I work two jobs. I do comedy. I just don't have the time to put into. Yeah, things. it's tough. 
Well, I, I, I've said this before. Uh, I kind of started this show to force me to watch, read, and oh, play perfect. a new thing every week because I was, like, so stressed out by everything else. I was like, no, no, no. I'm going to make relaxing and doing <laughs> my hobbies part of my job. Awesome. Now, I, now I'm sense. stressed out about not having read enough. <laughs> Uh, William, you reading anything? Time crunch. Time I did, crunch? but we'll do it next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really interested. I got a movie to go see. Oh, I'll my gosh. I'll call you. Uh, real quick, I, I was doing research on Saw, so I was on IMDb. <laughs> 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 I was reading the website. I was, yeah, I was reading IMDb. And just real quick anecdote, did you know that you're on IMDb? Who, m- me? Yeah, you have an IMDb profile. That's not true. Yeah. Okay, what's on it? Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd Translator is your only credit. <laughs> We roasted the angry video game nerd and <laughs> got on IMDb. Oh, I got to get that documentary I'm in on there. Yeah, yeah, we're not on there for that. And I just, it, it has your star ranking Ooh. of how famous What's you are. What's my star power? Uh, it doesn't say exactly h- what it is, but I do know that uh, the two of us are, li- are less famous than Scott Holiday, <laughs> <laughs> which, I- which is me. It's a character that I play <laughs> <laughs> in Chikara Pro Wrestling. My imagination, more famous than the two of us. Oh, man. Well, not your imagination. Not true. <laughs> so you, can have, you can have negative stars, I'm assuming? Is this what? It, it's quite a <laughs> jump to make. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true, but hurtful. So people it's are trying, actively right trying to forget you. That's what did <laughs> I ever do to you? <laughs> Block you out of your mind. up your... Parents, you don't know. You're really, se- oh you're really, you, like, again, you guys are more invested in these parents than I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bizarre. Let's let's reunite John <laughs> yeah. with his biological parents just to watch and him go. Put him on a game. What kind of show is this? <laughs> <laughs> let's bring him out. <laughs> well, we could have just gotten any two people because you wouldn't know. I wouldn't you know. Wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I wouldn't be convinced. <laughs> what if they were wearing plaid and had <laughs> they're just wearing the same outfits yeah. as me? That's <laughs> they must be. <laughs> We also host newlywed game esque game <laughs> shows. Ours is more like Maury. <laughs> I host Stay Together or Don't. <laughs> uh, host parents, I guess. Yes. Uh, so I have to ask, uh, what you playing? What am I playing? Uh, what am I? So I just moved into a house with a with a bunch of other do a bachelor pad, as yeah. they say. And there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Mario Kart Eight and Smash Brothers mm. in this nice. house. Which That's Smash what Brothers. Uh, we've thrown around between 64 and uh, the, n- the latest Wii U installment. I oh, guess that's that must be crazy. That's a weird jump. Why wouldn't you do GameCube? Not a GameCube house. <laughs> you don't have it. <laughs> I'm baffled by this. It's, it's either original or, or the latest, the Wii U. See, oh. I, I've done that where I've, I've played Wii U and gone back to N64. And N64 feels like it's underwater. Like it's so much mm-hmm. slower yeah. compared to what's happening in Wii U, which is just everything. Wh- who do you main? Uh, on 64, I main Fox. On a Wii U, I main Link. I, I mix it up with Link, uh, okay. Bowser Jr. <laughs> oh, right. DDD. Right. Uh, DDD, really? I love DDD. You love DDD? DDD. I'm not good at him. I okay. love being Just enjoy DDD. DDD. It's satis- he can take hits, and when you, he's not terrible. when you hit somebody back, it's really he's satisfying. He's good if you're playing with three other people, and you have the time to just kind of like sneak up and... And whap them with that hammer full yeah, charge. Yeah, it's really satisfying to get a full charge hammer hit on somebody. Yeah. I, I, I'm not great at Wii U, but uh, I did a tournament recently, and I came in third oh because man. nobody knew how to uh, fight Duck Hunt. <laughs> and I main Duck Hunt. And I was like, I don't know what this guy does. I was like throwing Frisbees and stuff like that, and I came in third. Because <laughs> everyone was used to fighting Fox and uh, who, well, uh, Zero Suit Samus and stuff. Like, nobody plays this Duck Hunt, so... Duck Hunt and Little Mac. Those are my guys. Little Mac. Little Mac's a hard one. Yeah. He's so fast. He's really fast that I just jump off the edge a lot. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> he does that diving punch that just kills himself all the time. Yeah, especially on a smaller platform. I'm just like, oh, I'm on dead again. I killed myself. <laughs> I'm done. Well, if you like Smash Brothers, come on down to Cosplay Pro Wrestling on Saturday. Ooh. Before your show. It's at 3 o'clock. You can <laughs> come on down. And uh, I, I believe uh, Link is fighting... No, wait, I'm not sure what's happening anymore. We've had yeah, some changes in the card. Uh, confusing message. But I know Link will be there, and possibly Donkey Kong and Mr. Oh, Game and Watch. Yep. <laughs> for sense. the Smash Brothers title. Just throwing that plug in. The fact that you threw in plugs early made me want to do plugs, the same. Baby. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, William, you playing anything good? I can't. I, it's going to take too long. I did, I did an amazing... We have way more time than you think. <laughs> an ama- I know. I just want to leave and go watch Solid. And I came here to meet you and I hear about what I you're don't, doing. I don't and you don't haven't invested any... Him to know my life that much <laughs> since he won't tell me about his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Or give me his DNA. He's like after the show, he's like, "You're gonna pi- hire like a PI to <laughs> find my <laughs> parents <laughs> for yourself." I'm, yeah, like, I'm not, not even gonna tell even you because you don't care. <laughs> but I want to know. I'm not. Yeah, I don't think about them. I don't think about you guys, whoever <laughs> you are. Oh, I thought you meant us. I was just like, I looked at the camera in case they were watching out there. They some, probably are. In case probably they probably somehow, are. yeah, got a tip off. <laughs> 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 that kid you gave up 30 years ago is gonna be on. Twitch <laughs> tonight. Plus two company <laughs> podcast. That's probably who came in asking about the show earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's probably right. your dad. There you go. <laughs> that was a joke for people that were here an hour ago. Uh, no, I LARPed this weekend. You LARPed this weekend? Yeah, Ow. I did. That yeah. counts as games you're playing? It's a game. It's a, it's a, a game. A I think I just thought game. video game. I, I, Doesn't I have to I the word playing myself. is part of the acronym of, of LARP. No, it's not. Then it'd be LARP. What? Live action role playing. The word playing is I part of the acronym mm-hmm. of LARP. <laughs> you shut up. You don't know who your parents are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is that's hate speech. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, yes, playing is part <laughs> of the word. Uh, I'm so tired. Um I I went up to uh Massachusetts. And uh, uh, did Legends Legacy is what it's called. It is okay. A, fan- a fantasy LARP, it's your standard. You've seen Lord of the Rings. You know what's going on LARP. Yeah. For the most part. But I, we've done a couple LARPs. Yes, we time. have. I've, I've done a couple more. And this is the most inclusive group of nice people that I have ever met in my life. <laughs> really? I, th- I may be in love with each and every one of these people that I've met. Oh, all right. Uh. I, mean, I don't want to do there's so much background to us. It's the exact opposite of uh, that crappy Senate council meeting we did. Okay. If you listen to the show, you probably go back and hear about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was just everybody's super friendly. This, they don't really care about the rules a whole lot. You, know, you get to hit people with a foam sword. What were you? I was, I was just a guy, Noah. They don't have classes. Which were is you cool. there? Like, you n- you have no details <laughs> about this at all. Well, you've only asked one question. You uh, don't even know what LARP means. That is true. <laughs> no, you, they Did don't you ha- just run around the woods hitting things with a stick? Yeah, they asked me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't real deep in the woods. You had to go to Massachusetts <laughs> to do that? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, no, they don't have classes. So you, c- you can pick and choose from abilities... And make your own thing. So I was a guy that was a little good at fighting, but also could throw fire spells around. John, are you, are you a role player at all? Not much of one. No? What? Not a LARPer. <laughs> you are a LARPer? Not a LARPer no. or a Dungeons & Dragons boy. Not, not no, those I things. Maybe like, an R- like an, a, a console RPG a little bit. Okay. You're getting a little judgy there. No, I'm just different than you. That's <laughs> all. I'm not better, just different. <laughs> yeah, he has like different traits and stuff that makes him special and different <laughs> instead of just being a guy hitting stuff I in the woods. I told you what I did. I was like, it was a fire mage that had a sword. How about that? This is why like a red mage. I don't yeah, know why. like a red mage. Thank you. Why are you making this conversation so difficult? I asked you what you were and you said a guy yeah, and, and then you described a mage. <laughs> yeah, but you're still being real hostile towards me. No, you want to talk about something? <laughs> I've fully lost control of the <laughs> show. John, I'm sorry. It's all right. Yeah, we, we didn't mean to bring you out to this. I, I don't know if I was going to be the one to derail it. I'm, I'm relieved. <laughs> I, you know what, Will? I think we should break up. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, he strikes again. I'm this good. I'm not good. I was going to suggest we go on the show. People have suggested like a best friends edition, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have the same stakes. I, but, <laughs> see, we've been accused of being married before. We, yeah, we might... We might legit kill each other. Yeah. Like, we've been comedy partners for 
longer than I care to say. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as soon as you said, what's the meanest thing he's ever said to me, I picked two, and I'm not sure which Ooh, one. Ooh, let's hear them. Oh, wait, let's wait go into this, please. Do you want to write it down first, and then I'll guess? See if we can match yeah, up let's answers? Yeah, do that. Dude's got paper. Let's or, do or it. Or do you want, I'll leave the room, and no, then he'll ask you some questions. It's going to take too long. Let's just do the one. Hey, we end with a game. This can be the game. <laughs> If you want. I'm into this. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave the room for a little bit. You're going to leave Wait, the room. That? All right. And He's he just going to go to the movie theater. You can probably He's just write it down. Back. Yeah, we just have our yeah Noah's just done with the show. All right, all right, all right. I'll write down some answers. and then Of the meanest? Th- so you're going to write more than one? Because I, th- I think I know the top one. All right, so, so ask me these questions, and then I'll write them down, and then Will will answer. And So, so th- what's the meanest thing Will's ever said what's to me? What's the meanest thing Will's ever said to you? Oh, uh, I have to know. Or you you had what the meanest thing he said he to you, said so he right, should so answer, I'll, I'll and then you can see if you can match his answer. The meanest thing I've ever said to Will. Um, well, have Will write it down. Oh, have Will write it. All right, oh. here you go. Here you go. Write, write it down. And while he's writing it down, you can surmise your guess. All right. What well, the meanest thing I ever said to Will was? Okay. And uh, it's gonna take Will a while to write. So yeah, it's probably it gonna be a paragraph. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, surprise! Just fell out. Oh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Uh, does it matter I if I re- does it, no one's gonna be able to read? This. D- does no, it just, uh, just, uh, can I? Just will I be able to read it, or you can ju- read it? Just to prove that, like, you guessed before I said it okay. out loud. Yeah. G- give it. Give us an, like two more questions as well, because I know what I'm thinking. Ooh, what would some of my other questions be? Oh, if uh, if Will went missing tomorrow, or I guess if you're gonna be answering, if Noah went missing tomorrow, how long do you think you'd look for him how before he gave up? How long would Will look for me? Yeah. How long would you look for him? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I have my answer for that. <laughs> and if uh, if you broke up with Noah tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, if you guys broke up. Uh, what's one thing you wouldn't miss about him? <laughs> These are just some of my go-to questions. Oh God. Thanks. All right. I have those answers. You should reconsider. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um. Uh, oh man, I, I'm honestly having a hard time figuring <laughs> out which of the mean things I've said to Will. Uh, mm. uh. Okay, so I'm in. I'm locked right. in. So when it comes to the meanest thing I've ever said to Will, I will say. I accidentally called him fat recently. I <laughs> felt really bad about it. That was in the top two. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I, I vaguely remember saying something uh, on <laughs> the along the lines of, I need you to be as funny as me. Oh, I don't remember <laughs> this at all. It, 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 I, like, I remember, like, I didn't say it very well. Because I was basically trying to to get across like, uh, yeah, ju- ju- justify your <laughs> we, like when we perform, I want people to to see us as equals. Is that was the message that I was trying to get across? We're not equals, but people yeah. need to need, people, people need to be need tricked. To think we are. People yeah. need to be tricked so into thinking need we're to be equals. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I didn't want some. I didn't want one of us to seem lesser than the other because we're a team and we're a unit. Yeah. But then the way I kind of phrased it to you. if people saw me being less talented than you, they would know. <laughs> I was like, I need you to be as funny as So that, that's <laughs> the one that I don't remember exactly how I phrased I just, it, but this that is, would be This my is my guess. favorite part of this question is because people just like, remember this really shitty thing I said? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you forgot? Well, let's remember. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, dr- let's look back on that. I was going to see, I was going to go with the fat comment. I went with when Noah accused me of cutting his brake lines. I did. Wow. Did do yeah. That? Yeah, that hurt my feelings. That's intense. Right? That's quite an accusation. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to murder me. <laughs> I had a job interview, and the, <laughs> night, the night before, he had toilet papered my car. There was a team of us. Which is fine. <laughs> but then when I got in my car, my brakes were cut. So I was like, well, what did you do last night? What kind of toilet paper did you use? Been, no, well, what did you do to my car? <laughs> That's pretty... I'm just imagining now, like someone saw the was walking by, saw the car TP, and was like, "Why the hell not? Let's just <laughs> take it to the next <laughs> step." <laughs> the next logical yeah. step, murder. <laughs> that w- that was yeah. That was. <laughs> it was not a nice thing to say, but I think you'd have to admit it was a question I had to ask. I don't think it was definitely not a question <laughs> you had to ask. Yeah, no, 
Did jump. you try to murder me? It was not yeah. something that would have come to my mind you if my friends TP'd totally my car. Yeah. yeah. Thank I, you. I think if it's quite I, a stretch. If I went missing tomorrow, Will's first instinct would be, I'm the prime suspect. So how, he's going missing next. <laughs> so I, I think it would be an element of searching while making sure that nothing suspicious <laughs> around him. That, that, that is my guess. Do you have a time frame on that? Oh, I lost, oh, he lost the page. I got, no, I got it. I found it right away. Oh, I see. I didn't fit. I put a really, really long time because people would think that I killed Noah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a match. That's a match. Wow. Does have one point? <laughs> <laughs> and and I w- I would say uh, the 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 thing he would miss least about me is judgment. I put passive aggressive sounding text. <laughs> It's pretty close. It's like a half right answer. Yeah, yeah that'd be like a half close. point. I, Will thinks I'm angry at him 100% of His the time. Text always read as mad. Does that, is that a problem that you have, Noah's fiance, who's now part of the show? Text him back. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, te- he texts me a question, I answer it, and then I get no response. Do you have any problems with Noah? You want to? <laughs> you know, he doesn't get right back to me nice. either. <laughs> <when I. laughs> it's genetic. It runs in the family. Uh, you wouldn't know anything about that, John. <laughs> you sure you don't want to come on the show? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta play a game. Might change well, our mind. We're gonna play host first guess. Oh, you need that. Huh? We're going to do it real quick. Uh, you did play uh, the Nintendo World Championships. I do need to talk about that. Uh, you played the Nintendo World Championships. You came in with a score of 149,920 points, and that puts you in first what? place. How many terrible people have you had on this show? You, you crushed it. Yeah, Second place is 109,000. And like, what, what is the... the <laughs> you beat them by 40,000 points. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, and, let him know. And he's also a person that super cared about this competition. <laughs> so congratulations. You're the new first place. Well, We're going to play a game very Being a first didn't mean that much to me until you said the second person cared a lot. Yeah, <laughs> That's that, that makes something. it so much better. That's uh, great. That's why we've been so mean. It didn't feel like I was doing well. No, you were No, it. you were destroying it. Oh, wow. Uh, so Thanks. we're going to play a game. It's time for host versus guest versus audience. Uh, this week I was cleaning, and I found... A T.J. Del Reno DVD. <laughs> wow. This is the adorable DVD. This is a guy that used to be part of uh, Plus Two Comedy. Floor but we trash. So trash. <laughs> we're putting that up. Uh, John, what did you bring? Uh, am I supposed to have my toy right here? Yeah, yeah, what is your toy? Oh, it's in this box over here, I think. You can move, the move. get it. You've just been <laughs> looking <laughs> at it. Somewhere in this book. I brought a Shredder Pop toy, yeah. Pop figure. Yeah. That is a good choice. Yeah, that was a good find. Uh, so we only have one audience member, and we're a little low on time, so I'm just going to call her on stage. Hey, get up here. Bag of candy. Bagged candy. Yeah, wait, what kind of candy? It's uh, Haribo snakes and Haribo ghostly gummies. Well, this is the, the gummy business. Yeah, because yeah. I ate all the Coke bottles, and sorry, oh, children. I the Coke bottles. Yeah, no, I ate all What's of those. What's a sorry child? Uh, the children who are not getting Coke bottles when they trick-or-treat at my house because <laughs> I ate them all. Oh, I thought they were like knockoff Sour Patch Kids. No, like that'd be the amazing. The Japanese <laughs> version is called the Sorry Children. I brought this nice toy, and you guys brought trash. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I did oh not yeah, know what the standard for DVD prizes candy. was. It's nice. Did you listen to the show ever? No. Oh, why would he? <laughs> I'm right, sorry. So I listened to one episode, but I'm not going to talk which about which one, one it was. Oh. <laughs> it was recent. It was pretty pop. It was popping online. I'll just say that. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, a, you, a, you guys had a huge guest. <laughs> I think we've become openly aggressive against Brad Trapp. You, you, had, a, you had a huge anymore. special guest. And is that Brad? Uh, was that his name? I can't remember. Yeah. All I know is uh, website, uh, he went on tour with Weird Al. <laughs> he went on. He was. He opened for Weird Al, and then yeah. they just kicked Weird Al off the tour. They were just like, <laughs> yeah, "This is you now. Yeah. This is it. No more Weird Al." From what I understand. <laughs> so it's just what I heard. We're gonna play a brand new game. Uh, we're gonna play a horrible subtitle. Uh, I have 24 different. Horror movie subtitles. You know how it's just it's not just the film, but there's like the weird subtitle at the end, like Breaking Two, Electric Boogaloo. You mean the tagline? 
No, that's tagline, the subtitle. The subtitle. Okay. Break it to Electric Boogaloo uh-huh. or City Slickers 2, The Search for there Curtis Gold. No, like, yeah, I under- like a tagline would be like. No, I get the difference. Oh. I'm just saying Noah's only ever known those two movies. Well, the rest of them are part of the game, so I don't want to use them as examples. I have 24 examples here. Like You're Die Hard with a Vengeance. Exactly. So now he's got a point. So I'm going to give you the, the subtitle. You give me the horror franchise. I was going to s- have you give me the exact film. But I think that might be too hard. Are there buzzers or just talk? Uh, no, just I will ask. <laughs> uh, I will ask you the question. Uh, uh, okay. If you get it wrong, the person next to you will get a chance to steal, and That's everybody fair. will get a chance. Yeah. So, Will, we're going to start with you. I have twenty-four here. That? Which one would you like? Uh, number one. Number one is a symphony of horror. Hmm. Hmm. If I keep making that noise, I can stall for longer. I made the first one really hard because I know Will picks 12 yeah, or 1 every time. Yeah, I do number one. Uh, d- dead Silence. I got nothing. Not Dead Silence. John? I, I have no clue. I have no guess. <laughs> no guess. Laura? Phantom of the Paradise? No. That's Maybe. the subtitle for Nosferatu. Huh. Uh, yeah, because there's no talking. There's just the was he in a paradise? No, that, no, that, that was her answer. I know. But was Nosferatu in a paradise? No. That was Phantom of the Paradise. <laughs> Unrelated. Uh, like John, you and your do I? <laughs> John, give me a number. I'll, I'll take uh, seventeen. Number seventeen is the final sacrifice. Oh, is that a? Uh, yeah. The final sacrifice. Hey, did you raise your hand? No, it was just. It sounded dramatic, so I made oh, a dramatic. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you guys gonna add dramatic music over this when you we, put I can. first production? Yeah, we, can. Yeah, we sure. won't, but we can. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know horror movies, so I have no guess. D- guess a franchise. Freddy Krueger? No, it's not Freddy. Yeah, it's a terrible guess. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you make me do I'm that? I'm gonna guess Children <laughs> of the Corn. Children yeah. of the Corn. Oh, by the way, I'm correct. surprisingly knowledgeable about horror movies for a thing <laughs> I don't watch. It, it's and surprisingly, the final sacrifice is the Children of the Corn two. So it's the final sacrifice in the second film. That's very like yeah. yeah, and that is not the final of those movies. By a long shot. Uh, Laura, pick a number. Um, twelve. Number twelve is Book of Shadows. Oh, Blair Witch. Damn it. Yes, Blair Witch to the Book of Shadows. Oh man. I don't think that's. I- it's, it's actually it Book of Shadows. It's actually Blair Book Witch of Shadows yeah. first, which is weird. Yeah, she should have just said Blair Witch 2 and seen if anybody <laughs> could get that. Anyone knew it was Book of <laughs> Shadows. Uh, William, back to you. Uh, b- seven. Number seven is the final sequence. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, se- is some sort of sequined killer. Maybe it's a pun. Yeah, th- uh, th- th- think about puns. That's a good point. Yeah, I- that's, that's a good probably point. what it is. Uh, uh, Final Destination. It is not Final Destination. <laughs> John, do you have a guess? Is it a Saw movie? It is not a Saw movie. Nah. It's a good guess, though. It's Human Centipede. Human yeah. Centipede. Yeah, the that makes sense. Yeah. There you go. Laura's cleaning That's up the one. one. Which one did they say is final? Do was that know? 28 people? It's a f- I don't know. That, that was the third one. Okay, is, which is to my oh knowledge is all of them. Yeah, it's, it's like a prison. Okay. I didn't make it past the second one. I really regretted watching it. Yeah, it's not... It's not great. <laughs> It'll make me feel good. To be honest, the first one, not a great not, not, not movie. Yeah, movie. Not a good watch. I watched that and Teeth back to back. Mm. Teeth? That was Fantastic my night. And then you were done with human bodies? <laughs> yeah, I think that's when I checked out of horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm good. All right, give me a number, John. I will take four. Four is Dream Warriors. Ooh. Dream Warriors. Is that Freddy Krueger? Can you be more Oh, Nightmare specific? on Elm Street. There you go. Can you be Why more didn't you correct me last time? I was wrong, but you could have been like, <laughs> I should have let me have half right. It was more wrong. It was more <laughs> wrong. Uh, Laura? 19. Up. Number 19 is The Next Generation. Oh. <laughs> it's not Star Trek. Is that Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It is the Texas wow. Chainsaw Massacre. She's solid. I was going to do another round, but Laura's already won. So no. <laughs> no, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, right, we'll catch up. All right, one more round. There's no bonus round? All right, bonus round. These were worth two points. Okay. Heck yeah. <laughs> Will. All right. Uh, Give me a number. Five. Did we do five? Number five, five is global swarming. <laughs> uh, birdemic. It is not birdemic, John. Is, is there a bug horror franchise? I Can bet I just, there is. I bet there probably is. This guy knows. 
Call, call for help, John. Yeah, just say can it. I do? It means nothing. Can I do what a lifeline? It? It's shark yeah. data. Wow, shark, shark data. Don't John say it. I was thinking bugs, but no, uh, right something answer. just came to me like it might be sharks. Sharknado? Whoa. Whoa. Sharknado's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus round. It's worth two points. Wow. Nice. You're back in the game, John. Heck yeah. <laughs> Laura, pick a number. Um, did we do uh, 11? Number 11 is uh, three double D. Piranha. It is yeah. piranha. Heck yeah. I had no chance. <laughs> and Laura roars back into the lead. We do have to go. But Wait, Laura 13? is our winner. Number 13? Yeah, Number yeah. 13 was The Rage. Carrie. Carrie 2. Yeah, the ra- which is one. another one that it's actually The Rage Carrie yeah. 2 and not Carrie 2. The All rage. right. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you, Laura wins. Thank you, prizes. That's how it ends. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can have this. For the yeah. Time. I'm going to see a movie later. But you can take the shredder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No one wants that. Yeah, hey, that's the big win. <laughs> you want this floor garbage? <laughs> <laughs> John, we got to get out of here because we got to go see Jigsaw. Uh, anything you want to plug? Uh, I might have Makeup or Breakup this Saturday night, the 28th at 8.30 p.m. at Good Good Comedy Theater. And that's the last Saturday of every month. So if you ever want to check it out, we're always there. It's a good show. We're booked mm-hmm. through December right if now. If somebody wanted to end their relationship, how would they contact you? You could contact me on Facebook, just my name, John Deary. <laughs> and Twitter? And Twitter at O O H underscore Deary. O Deary. That's f- like a funny little Twitter name. It's clever. And you can also reach out to me there. But we're always like actually looking for couples for the show. Uh, these guys obviously don't want to do it. But <laughs> we're always <laughs> looking for people. <laughs> it's hard to book for some reason. I don't understand why people <laughs> don't want to come on. A lot of trouble. This uh, means so much to me. <laughs> He's in a relationship. I'll tell him to go on your show. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I can take two things away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Will anything to add? <laughs> I, I lost my Saraha login, so uh, if you want to <laughs> give me some pineapple facts, you got to give them to me on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> Be sure to give us five stars on iTunes, five stars on Stitcher. Vote for us on podcastland.com. Make us the podcast of the month. You can also follow us on Twitch now. Watch us live at 8 o'clock on Thursdays. You can also watch us on YouTube. So like, comment, and subscribe. Upcoming shows will happen. Uh, they've all canceled for November so far, so I don't have any confirmed guests. But there will be shows coming in November. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, thanks to... Matt Damon for making the show possible? I bet so. Is it oh, Brie, yeah, Brie yeah. Larson, yeah. Thank you to Brie Larson for Wait, making what? the show possible. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Thank you to Brie Larson for making the show possible and birthing John Deary. This is the Plus Two Comedy <laughs> Podcast. Oh, Thank man. you guys so much.